British Columbia, Canada, on the eastern border of the province, sits an incredible fossil site. It's incredible for many reasons, but ultimately, it is incredible because of its age and the fossils that have been preserved. Soft bodied animals from half a billion years ago. Many strange looking creatures have been found at the Burgess Shale, but this video will just uncover the few that I was able to see when I got to visit the site. The Burgess Shale is well known for many trilobites being found, but they are not the reason this site is so remarkable. The Burgess Shale is special because it has preserved the remains of soft-bodied animals from over 500 million years. Growing to about a meter in length, Anomalocaris is famous for two long appendages with claw-like structures to capture prey. It was originally thought that Anomalocaris would use its jaws to crunch down on trilobites. However, there has been a debate on whether Anomalocaris would have had the strength in its jaws to crunch through the exoskeletons of trilobites. Anomalocaris may have used its appendages to tug on its prey, splitting the exoskeleton of trilobites in order to feed on the soft innards. But it is possible that Anomalocaris just fed on soft-bodied animals instead. One of the soft-bodied creatures that had been preserved that I was able to see is the worm Atoya. This was a predatory creature. One of the examples of prey for Atoya was the small-shelled creature Haplophrantis. For me though, the creature that I was able to hold a fossil of that gave me the greatest impression was Opabinia. This ancient alien had five eyes and a long proboscis to snatch food and pull it into its mouth. I remember being around nine years old at the Space Center in Leicester, and on a screen there was the depiction of Opabinia, probably due to its alien appearance. It was this fossil in particular that had me in absolute awe at the Burgess Shale, because it really did show how strange life was during the Cambrian explosion. The creatures that I got to see at the Burgess Shale are only a small handful of all the different strange creatures that have been found there. But it was an absolute privilege to have the opportunity to be able to visit the site that has had an important significance in our understanding of early life and how it changed so much and evolved into the creatures that came long after. Thank you for watching my adventure in the Burgess Shale. I just wanted to say that if you're thinking about visiting, it does require a booking with a guided tour with a permit. Another thing to bear in mind, the hike to get to the Burgess Shale and back is about 23 kilometers. And so you have to be physically fit in order to be able to get there and back. It is a very long journey. One last thing to also consider is the weather. When I went, it was an extremely hot day. But when Sir David Attenborough visited to film his documentary, First Life, it was a much colder day as he's seen wearing a big, thick coat. So bear that in mind if you're thinking about going to the Burgess Shale, the weather is unpredictable and can change at any moment. If that's put you off wanting to visit the Burgess Shale, but you still want to see fossils from there, no worries. You can go to the Royal Terrell Museum in Alberta, or you can go to the Royal Ontario Museum to see fossils from this site on display. Thanks again for watching this video, and it is great to be back. I hope it won't be long until my next video. Until then, I'll see you later.